The following video is a recollection of what had happened to me on August 28, 2011 in Vermont when Hurricane Irene came through 200 miles from the ocean. This is just to show you what the damage can be even not living by the ocean. Time is a beautiful thing. Time never stops. The time for you to be prepared for hurricane season this year is now. Do not wait because time can pass you by. And then in the last minutes, it can be too late. On August 28, 2011, Hurricane Irene, which was then downgraded to a tropical storm, made landfall and came up and hit Vermont. People were not prepared. Everybody just thought it was going to be a regular rainstorm and it would just pass on by. As you can see, it came right up through, right up the middle of the northeast section with devastating rain and winds. Some of the flooding and other damage that you're going to see in these videos were just heartbreaking. It destroyed so many towns and cities and people's lives. Some parts of the state got up to 11 inches of rain in a 24 hour period, more than 500 miles of roads and 200 bridges were damaged or destroyed, some of them historical. They're gone forever, never to be seen again. The amount of rain that fell took everybody by surprise. As it had been over a hundred years since Vermont had had anything like this ever happen. And it just goes to show you what Mother Nature can do, even if you don't live by the coast. More than a dozen communities were cut off from the outside world for several days and weeks. Bridges and dams failed. The Federal Highway Administration put in $129 million to help with road repairs. The Federal Emergency Management put $166 million in. The state put in $6.9 million. We lost a total of six people during this flood. Two in our own town. And those two were just trying to do their jobs. So the point of this is, people, you need to be prepared. You do not know when a hurricane could do this to your town. If you live along the coast, you expect damage. But this is 200 miles inland in a mountain area of Vermont. It was just devastating. And the amount of money that it costs to fix, repair, rebuild. But sometimes there is no money that can replace things. Time is of the essence. Your time to do this is now. Your time is running out. Be prepared for you and your family. For you are the one and the only one that can change how the clock runs. You can be prepared or you can wait to the last minute and things will be totally different. Money's tight for a lot of people right now and I get it. But you know what? We all need to be prepared. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you.